Cat 5e, FTP vs UTP. UTP stands for unshielded twisted pair, while FTP stands for foiled twisted pair. However, how do we compare Cat 5e FTP vs UTP? UTP cables do not have any shielding. They just have single plastic sleeve insulation around the wires. However, on the other hand FTP cables have a metal shield around all pairs together, and then the outer plastic sleeve insulation. The CAT 5E FTP category gives an extra security shield. Therefore the twisted pairs of CAT 5E cable wires have foil security around them. Furthermore, this foil further protects the wires from EMI and crosstalk. CAT 5E cables, general outline. CAT 5E cables can transmit data at the speed of 100 megabits per seconds over 100 meters. In addition, this allowance is usually for a 90 meters permanent cable link, and an allowance for 5 meters patch leads each end. CAT 5E in all formats contain four twisted pairs. Generally unlike their higher category counterparts such as CAT 6, CAT 7, and CAT 8. They have no additional separation inside the cable between pairs. CAT 5E was the first major standard for data cabling installation within a structured cabling design. In addition with its ability to handle 1 gigabit traffic. It was a suitable choice for various hardware uses. These systems included computers, telephones, CCTV, Wi-Fi, access control, and many others. However, in many modern installations CAT6, CAT6A, and even CAT7 cables are being used as a substitute for CAT5E. They offer better crosstalk protection, and help to work at more than 1 gigabit per second speed. CAT6A and beyond are now the standard for new installations due to their ability to transmit 10 gigabit at 90 to 100 meters. In addition, CAT7 and CAT8 are common in data center environments and, in some commercial and residential data cabling installations. Features of CAT5E They form part of a structured cabling design. These cables are rated for 100 MHz high-speed data applications. The cable is capable of gigabit Ethernet. They consist of four pairs of colored cores. Category 5E wires are considered as cost-effective cables. The highest cable length is 90 or 100 meters. 90 meters permanent cable length plus a pair of 5 meters patch leads. 100 meters direct hardware to hardware link. Where would standard CAT 5E cables be used? For the majority of installations would be specified at standard CAT 5E cables would be specified at standard CAT 5E cables. These would be specified as in all new installation is CPR compliant cables. CPR regulations are there to ensure the correct cables are installed with regards to fire and safety. In addition, this ensures that the cables are safe in case of a fire. Furthermore, this applies to all cable categories regardless if they are CAT 5E, CAT 6, CAT 7 or CAT 8. Also the same for UTP and FTP. Where would CAT 5E FTP be used? What do shielded cables do? The main advantage of shielded CAT 5E and other cables is that they insulate the inner cores from electrical interference. In addition, they protect from all elements of EMI or electromagnetic interference. EMI are electrical interferences that are naturally found in the outside world, and outside your cabling installation. These interferences can include Natural EMI such as lightning, storms, and natural electrical charges. Electrical equipment interference. Emissions from electronic equipment. Power lines. Wi-Fi. Mobile phones. Microwaves. Generators. Lighting. Electrical installations. Shielded cables also increase the protection of noise from other data cables or, even within its own cable. Crosstalk is the disruption of the signal of the cable from either the other cores inside the same cable or, from other data cables in the installation. External crosstalk is known as alien crosstalk. 
When should I use shielded data cables? Following on from the above listing where electrical interference is found, these natural areas are where shielded can be considered as a suitable upgrade to shielded data cabling. These are areas where electrical interference and EMI are bound to be high. These buildings or situations may include the following. Data centers. Warehouses, especially industrial. Travel centers such as train stations and airports. Industrial buildings where large electrical elements are found. Distribution centers. Medical buildings. The preferred cable specification will always depend on the situation and the area of installation. Furthermore, it will be based on the surrounding installations and other services. For further assistance or a free survey, please email or call on the details below, and click like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video.